Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Hannah Green's golf swing. Australian player, only 25, really getting good out there. She's won a couple times and trying to win again this week out in L.A. Just a quick reminder, if it's your first time to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, please do. And if you hit the like button, that would be great. We'll take a look here at an iron shot, uh, great setup position. And like I said, a very short, compact swing here. Really sort of picks it up quickly with the hands and arms. Lays it off to about a three-quarter position, which does make it very easy to shallow. It's already in a shallow position. And then drops it down, gets the legs really going, very strong looking player. And she really moves at 275 average off the tee with this short compact action. But you can see how strong she looks in the legs. Planes it out most of the most of the time pretty well. Very accurate with the irons. Top 10 in greens and reg. Really using the ground well. A lot of three-quarter finishes as well. Up to here with the, the iron shots, whereas the driver in the woods really takes a, a full rip at it. But that really controlled action, I'm sure has to do with so many greens regulation. This shot here looks like, like it may be a pitching wedge. Very short shot into the green. Like I said, it really picks it up quickly. A lot of wrist action in the takeaway. A little unusual these days. A lot of times people are using more of a full on wind up and a one piece action, but a little wristy off the uh, takeaway there. Even looks like that with the, the driver in the woods we'll see in a minute. Really short there, really sits down though nicely. Bows that left wrist down, face square. You know, all these approach shots really does have great leg work, great footwork. Nice and calm down there, which helps her plane it out. Very accurate with the wedges, short game. Really impressive young player from Australia. Even looking at this chipping motion really quickly, we can see the narrow stance, the club on the plane. Rotating with the upper body. A lot of poor chippers are very much using the lower body too much. There's a lot of movement in the knees and, and feet for bad chippers. Good chippers have very, very calm feet, calm legs, and using the upper body mostly to power the shot. And she certainly does that here. You see the upper body rotating through, feet plastered to the ground and nearly holding the shot. This is a very impressive shot here. Hybrid end to a very narrow green such a cool golf course, and this sort of that iron swing, that three-quarter look, hinging it quickly off the bat there on the way back. Not a lot of turn, really doing a lot of work on the downswing, sitting and rotating hard. And the only thing I would see when she was hitting some shots offline in some of the videos is she does push so hard sometimes that if the club's supposed to be planing out on this line, she does raise up out of it, and that club planes out higher which when the handle raises through impact and gets up into this position, that tends to open or close the face depending on what's happening with the release. But this one here, beautiful shot, slightly above the plane at impact, but just when this ball ended up just carrying the bunker over here, there's that three quarter action again in the finish long iron technically hybrid shot. Cool angle here to look at the wedge shot coming in just right next to the flag. Just watch the good footwork here, very quiet lower body, rotating the upper body well, really chasing through that right shoulder and feet pretty much on the ground at impact, allowing for that rotation. Like I said, that right shoulder really coming through, keeping that face super square, great release with the wedge there. You can really see that position there where the hands are just holding that face square through impact. Very cool swing to watch. This one here, an example of one of those shots that did go a little bit to the left, landing back on the back left of the green, probably a little off the green as it went through there. But you'll see this club wheel playing out higher at impact than she started. Once again, that's just gonna have make it a little tougher to control the face at times. I mean, she's a great iron player, so obviously it doesn't affect her too often or she doesn't come up out of it too often. But either way, there's that change of plane, which like I said, gets a little bit of flip at the bottom sometimes. That way, if she holds on, if it happens to be trouble left, the ball's gonna peel off to the right. 
This one, like I said, just ending back left. Lastly, just a driver swing to show you how different the driver swing really looks in terms of the follow through. She does pick it up the same, quite wristy in the takeaway. Longer swing, obviously, with the driver still laid off and really using the ground, pushing hard through that back leg and a massive follow through all the way through from the iron swings. It almost looks like she's not flexible enough to finish the swing, but that is definitely not the problem. It's just that's how she's built her swing with those three quarter finishes to be a really accurate approach shot player. But boy, the driver, look at that all the way around and ripping it, like we said, good ball speed and average distance, 275 plus. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video of Hannah Green. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.